We were told that Thomas Jefferson only plays about 14 or 15 guys, so that could be a factor as we go into the game here. Pierce trying to get around the left side. Can't do it. He'll lose about a half yard on that one. Pursuing inside. Number 22, that's Brandon Pahanish. And number 28 for Thomas Jefferson. Adam Stout on the pursuit for the Jaguar defense. Pierce now second and 11. He's going to pitch it back to Boyle again. Some blocking on the outside, but it takes him a long time to get to the line of scrimmage. And he's going to push tacklers all the way to the 45-yard line. 60 extra yards after contact. He takes that pitch a good eight, nine yards behind the line of scrimmage. Ends up gaining five. Jimmy, Jimmy pitched it as he was going down also. Now third and five. Big down for the Mustangs here in the first. 3.21 to go. Pierce is going to decide to change the play here. Tight man-to-man -man coverage on the outside for the Jaguars. Boyle in motion. They're going to Pierce keep it. He's going to try to spin for it. He's not going to be able to get to the marker. Gain of about three. He's going to bring up third and two. And I think the Mustangs are have to punt this one away, Rick. Here, come, here comes the punt team. You know, when Jimmy punts, he gets an extra step with a little half step with that rugby punt, waiting to see where the if, if they're going to rush him or if they're going to drop back. He can sort of aim it at that point. Here's Pierce now with that rugby kick, and he launches it high. It's an end-over-end end tail dragger. Now it takes a great bounce for the Mustangs inside the five and out of, I'm sorry, inside the ten, out of bounds at about the six-yard line. Zane Zandier was at the 25-yard line. He should have caught that one just like he did the last one, and that's exactly what happens when you don't catch those short punts. He just watched it go over right by his head, and uh, he figured it was going out of bounds. The spin on that one was top spin, and it just kicked <laughs> forward, much like one of my pitch shots. That's going to bring up first and 10 for Thomas Jefferson at 228 to go here in the first. All the way back at their six-yard line. I'd like to hear uh, Super, Soup's opinion about the rugby-style punt versus the traditional. He would know a lot more about it than we would. Wide left and slot right. Slot man in motion. Number 19 for the Jaguars. And right up the middle now, big gainer again for Thomas Jefferson. The up back. Drug down there by number 24 Pahanish. for Law Highlands. Pahanish on the run, on the tackle for the Mustangs. Number 24, Taya Mickens. But uh, big run out to the 32-yard line. So 26-yard run for Pahanish. The Mustangs are obviously looking for something else there. They did not anticipate that up back getting the ball. He wasn't even touched until he had 10, 10 yards into the backfield, and then he just drug a couple defenders for another 10 yards. In the shotgun, now over his head, Mustangs with an opportunity, but Mitro content to just grab it and go to his knee. That'll push it all the way back to about the 19-yard line. Now we got a timeout on the field by Thomas Jefferson. It, it doesn't look like that uh, that timeout was called. It looks like that timeout was called before that play. They're not moving the ball. Let's see. I don't know that the referee did throw the bean bag. So what are we going to have here? Is he going to bring it back to the line of scrimmage, or are they going to call it a fumble? I think he threw the beanbag before the time or after the timeout was called, but let's they're talking about it. I don't think they've made a decision yet. Take a quick break and we'll be back here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Tonight's game is being brought to you in part by State Representative Tim Mahoney of the 51st Legislative District. With offices in Uniontown and Chalk Hill, Representative Mahoney is dedicated to providing the best leadership and quality representation to his constituents. He can be reached at 66A Lebanon Avenue in Uniontown, 724-438-6100, and in Chalk Hill at 2925 National Pike, 724-437-2521. 
good luck to all of the area teams from State Representative Tim Mahoney of the 51st Legislative District. We're back and it is going to be placed back at the original line of scrimmage so the timeout was called before the snap of the ball. And maybe, those, that's, maybe that's why Mitro uh, just, just didn't even look for the ball. He, he thought there was a timeout called. So Thomas Jefferson will be back at the line, first and 10 at their own 34-yard line. Mitro with an eye backfield. Here comes the student body right. This time brought outside a good blocking by Thomas Jefferson. It's Behanish again. Now this time that was Scanlon. Scanlon for Thomas Jefferson around right end. Another big gainer for Thomas Jefferson into Laurel Highlands territory at the 47 yard line. Same play that they ran to the left and they're probably gonna keep running that until we can stop them. About a 16 yard gain on that play. First down and 10, Thomas Jefferson now starting to assert themselves on the ground. It's time for the Mustangs to dig in. High right, backfield, slot receiver in motion for Thomas Jefferson. And inside, Scanlon, Mustang stack it up this time. Nowhere to go at the point of attack that time for Scanlon. In there on the tackle, Edenfield along with the right side of the Mustang defensive front. Second and 10 now. First quarter winding down with a minute 15 to go. Quickly to the line. Mitro, now student body left again with Scanlon. They're just mowing people down out there blocking and Scanlon just gets around the left end for seven or eight yards before he meets any resistance. Out of bounds at the 35. First down, Thomas Jefferson. Well, that play came about because Andy Ear sealed off the, the uh, right linebacker and then there was nobody out there to stop Scanlon. Needs some force up quickly for the Mustangs as they're uh, allowing that student body right, student body left to just gain momentum. Nothing fancy about that. They just pull two guards and have the lead blocker with the outside receiver sealing inside. They're looking deep and there's a sack in the Mustangs come in quickly. That time number 45 for the Mustangs quickly in Chad Petrus. Also number 28, Brandon Eisler. They just came untouched. They were unprepared for that. And that's going to push it back 10 yards to the 45-yard line with 37 seconds to go here in the first. Got nice new uh, play clocks here at the Mustang field also, Rick. Barry's doing a nice job operating it, Here too. comes the student body right, tries to cut it back this time. Scanlon, and he's tripped up, a gain of about eight. That would have been a big down to, to stop him. Looked like Bobanovich was able to trip him up for the Mustangs, and I believe that's going to be the last play of the first quarter as Mitros heads over for the word from his coach as the first quarter expires with the Thomas Jefferson Jaguars driving third down and 12 inside Mustang territory at the 37. The end of the first quarter, it's TJ7, Laurel Highlands nothing. And we're going to be back here on WMBS and the South Union Township Sports Network. Ted Sova Body and Fender Repair, LLC, is proud to be a sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network. They have been serving the area with quality work and integrity for more than 40 years, and they would like to again thank their past customers and look forward to serving new customers as well. Ted Sova Body and Fender Repair, LLC, works with all insurance companies and provides assistance with car rental arrangements that coordinate with the auto repair work. The 
rental company will meet with you at our facility to accommodate your rental needs. As a member of the DuPont Assurance of Quality program, our refinishes are guaranteed and all repairs have a lifetime warranty as long as the customer owns the vehicle. Ted Sova, Body and Fender Repair, LLC, clearly recognizes and understands the current and ever-changing atmosphere that exists in today's collision repair and insurance industries. So please contact Ted Sova, Body and Fender Repair, LLC, located at Atlas Road in Hopwood. That's Ted Sova, Body and Fender Repair, LLC, offering complete collision service for both domestic and foreign vehicles for more than 40 years. For more information, please stop by or call us at 724-437-2351. We care about the environment. We've always been eco-friendly facility and we are currently going through the process of being recognized by the U.S. EPA's Design for the Environment program. For all of your auto body needs, come to Ted Sova Body and Fender Repair because there is a difference. So please contact Ted Sova Body and Fender Repair, LLC, located at Atlas Road in Hopwood. That's Ted Sova Body and Fender Repair, LLC, offering complete collision service for both domestic and foreign vehicles for more than 40 years. For more information, please stop by or call us at 724-437-2351. Here we go, we're back for second quarter action. Third down and 13 for Thomas Jefferson at the Laurel Highlands 38-yard line. Mitro back. He'll loft it again for Zandier, and it's too deep. Sloboda tried, thought he was going to um, curl up on that one, and Zandier did get behind him. So that's a big third down play for the Mustangs. Brings up fourth down and 13 at about the 38. It's an interesting decision here for Thomas Jefferson. I would think they'd want to punt and not give the Mustangs any kind of life or field position, and that's what's going to happen as Campbell runs in for the Thomas Jefferson Jaguars and deep for the Mustangs. That looks like uh, Boyle. That's a big stop for the Mustangs. Late arrival for the punt team for the Jaguars. High snap, but handled by Campbell. And he'll launch a spiral down the middle, and that's going to be roll inside the 10 to the 5, inside the 5 to about the three-yard line. So exactly what Thomas Jefferson wanted to pin the Mustangs deep at about the three-yard line. They'll have the long field to go here. Just underway in the second quarter with Thomas Jefferson on top, you seven like, to nothing. You don't like to have the long field, but that was a veteran move by Boyle of not even touching that punt, getting away from it and taking the chances because you don't want to give the ball back to him and make a, a simple mistake. You're right about that, Rick. Now Pierce, he's going to go deep down the middle, and it's, oh, just off the fingertips of Livingston. He had it for a second. That would have been a huge play for the Mustangs. Defended by Scanlon. Four steps back and just a skinny post by Livingston. Had the step on the defender, but just could not pull it in. It's a nice touch pass. It passes exactly where it should have been. Got the call there by Coach Just to try to get the Mustangs out of that hole and potentially allow Livingston to be in the open field. Now the Mustangs with the cross buck and room around the right side. This is Boyle and he just slips. He had some room. Lucas Boyle had an opportunity to turn that up and maybe gain some significant yardage, but he'll have to settle for two. Third and eight now for the Mustangs. Deep in their own territory at the five yard line. Well, they need to get out of there a little bit if they're Especially either to get a first for the punt down team, or yeah. for the punt. Here's a pitch now outside and a lot of room on the outside, and he does get the first down. That's number 23. Who is that, Rick? Time. 30. Sloboda. Sloboda on the run. Couldn't pick up that number, so good ball handling there by Pierce. Had me fooled. 
Got it around the left side with no defenders out there for Thomas Jefferson. Had TJ Bring, fooled too. Brings it all the way out to the 18, 19 yard line. Up the middle fake and the ball's on the ground, I believe, or Pierce has it and he's gonna be swarmed. He thought about allowing the fullback to keep it, but he pulled it out at the last second and he's lucky not to have a fumble on that play and it results in a big loss back all the way to the 14 yard line. It's gonna bring up second down and 14 for the Mustangs. Pierce now again up the middle and nowhere to go this time. That looked like number 10. Christian Jones picks up about one. Another big third down for the Mustangs. Looks like TJ has picked up some of the tendencies and they're starting to smother some of those plays. It'll be curious what kind of adjustments Coach Just makes. Mustangs will send two receivers out wide to the right now. Third and 13. Pierce looking, looking. Now the quick slant inside, breaking it up the middle is Livingston. He has room. Past the 30, to the 35, out to the 40. Finally brought down at the 45-yard line. Just a quick 30 slant, 30-yard pass and catch. Beautiful concept there by the Mustangs as they send the slot receiver straight ahead. Livingston takes three steps down the field and cuts it inside. Quick pass there by Pierce, hits him in stride, and he just sprints for the first down out to the 44-yard line. That's their first play of over 10 yards in this game, Gary. 9.32 to go. Mustangs now looking deep, and it looked like a little bit of a contact, but no call again as Lucas Boyle could not pull that one in on his hands, but just Defe cannot pull it in. Defended by Mulebauer there. You're right. It did look like there was a little touchy going on, but Jimmy Pierce has thrown the ball pretty well. You have, He's you pretty can't on spot. About that. It's just not able, just a hair off and not able to allow his receivers to pull that in. I like the adjustment here. Up the middle now, Pierce is going to hold it, and he's going to be gang tackled for about one yard to the 45-yard line off the bottom of the pile there. Number 79, Dustin Lanning. I'm sorry, Devin Danielson for Thomas Jefferson. Just like uh, TJ is working on Sloboda, obviously Coach just sees that skin and he slant. Now we're going deep again. Livingston has it. He's deep. Down to the 20, the 15, inside the 10, and he'll take it in for the touchdown. Pierce to Livingston for the Mustang touchdown. 55 yards on the pass and catch at the 8.54 mark of the second quarter. Lisa on for the extra point for the Mustangs, trying to tie things up here in the second quarter. Here's a snap, kick is up, and it is good. It's a ball game. We have a ball game. We're all tied up here at Mustang Field 7-7, and we'll be back on the South Union Township Sports Network. Central Cab Coach USA has been providing the highest quality motor coach charter and tour service to our community for over 39 years. Under the leadership of Dave Mansbury, President and General Manager, our experienced and professional drivers log over 3 million miles per year in our fleet of 57 modern motor coaches. Each coach offers